Let's rank Miss Paraffin's home for perpendicular children. Please ignore the rain. Look, I, I really want to like this film. But I just can't help but feel like it's a poor man's version of X-Men, Lemony Snicket, or Harry Potter. But the whole thing is plagued with such bad writing and pacing that it feels like you're reading a college textbook. Everything that you need to know about this seemingly magical world is fed to you through like clunky exposition, exactly when you need it, never sooner, but never later, just right there. Nothing is ever discovered through a character's actions or left to linger for a while to make you wonder and then, you know, get that feeling of satisfaction when it finally comes to fruition and everything clicks. And honestly, it takes away from the whimsy of this potentially extraordinary world. Not to mention visually it doesn't have anything unique to it. And this is kind of surprising because this is a Tim Burton film. Like I couldn't tell you what film any single shot is from. Like, if you just took a random still from this film, it was like, hey, what's that from? I honestly couldn't tell you. I could probably guess it came from 2016, though. Get a little closer. And none of this is helped by the very dull performances all around. Even, even the very good actors can't seem to convey anything other than a cardboard cutout of what could be potentially interesting. Unless, of course, your name's Sam L. Jackson, but, you know, what did you expect there? While I certainly like the idea of this film, unfortunately, the reality is just much more boring. Out of 303 films, this gets spot 246. Which is below New Mutants at 229, but above Marvel's Inhumans at 272. Bye ya!